A very warm welcome back to your latest industry developments. Today there is coverage on Lufthansa grounding aircraft last week, updates on Emirates and their Airbus A380 operation, and then coverage finally moves over to Vistara in India. Let me begin. Let me begin with the grounding that is certainly taking center of attention. Lufthansa Cargo was forced to ground some of its Airbus A321 P2Fs, following cracks being identified in the structure of the aircraft craft per Sirium. Sirium reports, and this was later confirmed by the airline and broader company, if you will, that a single fine crack was initially detected during a routine maintenance check conducted on January 9, 2024, with one aircraft. D-AEUC was the aircraft responsible for the identification of the crack. Per data, this plane was delivered in May 2008 and enjoyed a stint as a passenger plane before it was eventually converted in Singapore to a freighter aircraft. Now, following that conversion, it was then returned to Germany, where it began life with Lufthansa Cargo. Lufthansa Cargo aired on the side of caution, following the single crack being identified with all other units being initially pulled from service as a response. In my opinion, this certainly flew under the radar last week, given just what was taking place with the 7379 and largely Boeing. The freight operator reapproved the entry into service of two units, just a matter of days after pulling them, as a precaution. However, at the time of recording, two aircraft are still still listed as parked as investigations are carried out under the circumstances. Now, I must say that I don't know when this video is going live just because of everything that has been going on with Boeing. These videos are being severely delayed, so the planes may be back in service. I will do my best endeavor to update the pinned comment saying if they are or not. Lufthansa cargo parking aircraft directly impacts, as we know, their day-to-day -day operation by significantly reducing available fleet and cargo space to conduct routine services. A repair is expected to be carried out following investigation of what was found per latest statements. We know that the Lufthansa cargo fleet has 15 aircraft spread across four A321 P2Fs, but their most extensive relationship is with the 777 freighter, where there are 11 units in service. These aircraft average an age of 7.3 years, whereas your A321 P2Fs are at 15, so more than double the age there. Over to the next topic of today's proceedings, Emirates have announced it'll return the A380 for a limited time with service to Vienna. The return of the A380 marks certainly a momentous occasion for Vienna and broadly Austria, which hasn't seen the A380 for several years, with the 777-300ER operating all services. As part of the adjustment from February 21 until March 30th, which concludes the winter schedule, EK-127 and EK-128 will be upgraded to the A380-800. Currently, the Boeing 777-300ER occupies the service, which has been deemed enough for some time. However, the A380 will boost capacity and thus add further options to travelling to and from Vienna. Emirates says that EK-127 departs Dubai at 8.55 in the morning with an arrival into Vienna just after lunchtime. Then EK-128 will depart at 3.10pm with an arrival into Dubai just before midnight. The three-class A380 is set to feature on the route, with the company excited about the return of the world's largest passenger plane and the positives it does bring. A total of 429 seats are found in economy class of Emirates' three-class A380, with 76 in business and 14 in first class. Emirates says that by upgrading to the A380, there'll be almost a 40% jump in total passengers that can be transported between the two locations. The return of the A380 comes for the first time since August 2022, when the aircraft type was last featured with service to Vienna. Emirates notes that the ability to deploy the A380 for just over a month towards the end of the winter flight schedule is a testament to the dynamic nature of their operation, with it also highlighting how the company is forward thinking and the emphasis on demand oriented fleet planning. The 777-300, however, will not be departing from service to Vienna. The airline says that the Boeing widebody will continue operating in the evening. However, the daytime service is where the A380 will be deployed. 
Emirates remains the world's largest operator of the wide body. The carrier says it has 116 units in its fleet, with almost 90 spread across its global network listed as active. The sheer size of the A380 has been a deterrence for several companies, as we know, that have been unable to fill the world's largest passenger plane. But for Emirates, it's been quite the opposite. They've viewed this plane as an opportunity. The Dubai-based airline has thus really been one of the few airlines to make the plane work within its daily operation, and it's done so in a superb manner. Even during the height of the pandemic, when travel demand dropped to zero, the airline believed the 380 would play a pivotal role looking ahead, and therefore they had no intention of retiring the fleet for good. Also, you'd argue that they had no way to replace it, so why on earth would they remove a plane that is so important to fulfilling their network requirements? Over to the final story of today that sits in India, with Vistara announcing they will be expanding their presence in France by announcing a a new service from Mumbai towards the country. On the 28th of March 2024, it will be operated by the 7879 Dreamliner, which features a three-class configuration. Mumbai to Paris will thus operate on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, with a departure at 2.05pm local time. Alongside the newly announced service between Mumbai and Paris, Vistara says this will complement their existing Delhi to Paris service. This flight was launched in November of 2021, so it is still relatively new, and since then the airline says it has enjoyed much success. According to the company, this service is also operated five times weekly, and customers have only spoke highly of it. Vistara certainly has a strong ambition of increasing connectivity towards Europe. We know that the Boeing 787 Dreamliner will be absolutely pivotal for the company with its enhanced efficiency and passenger comfort levels to achieve these ambitions, and ultimately for Vistara, the newly announced Mumbai to Paris connection will aid them with these ambitions within the region. That is going to conclude today's aviation news recap. Like I always say, if you have any thoughts on the topics covered in this episode, you're more than welcome to drop those thoughts down below in the comment section, where I no doubt believe someone will be more than eager to have a discussion with you about your opinions and much more. I just wanted to take the time once more to thank you so much for your support that you show here on the channel. Last week was actually the best performing week in eight years of of doing this YouTube thing. And even though I know the subject topic was obviously a key catalyst, and don't get me wrong, it's not something I want to have to cover. It's also not something I want to see happen. But nevertheless, I've got to say that because this is my job, I really do appreciate you coming in every single day, whether this is your first video or 1,757th video, because yes, I'm approaching 3,000 uploads now here in eight years and your support could not be more appreciated. Stay tuned as I have an exciting project in the works that I'm very excited to reveal more about. And we'll fly.